Hello there, I'm Tom from Smart Aerials, and in this video I'm going to uh, discuss and show you what's different with the new Sky QLMB uh, and uh, what, what, why it's not compatible with the old Skybox, Skyboxes and why you have to change this when you upgrade to Sky Q. Uh, and I'm also going to sort of show you a few problems it can cause when you do change, uh, depending on the system you've got. Uh, so without any further ado, let's begin. Uh, now I'm just going to, just for reference, I'm just going to use what's traditional Sky a traditional Sky Quad LMB here, which we use the Sky FreeSat in the UK, um, and I've got the Sky Q LMB here. So let's begin by sort of comparing the two actually. So if you look at the quad, it's got four outputs, um, but if, if you had an octo or a dual LMB, that would be eight or two, or in a single LMB, that'd be one. Uh, and the new one, it's got two outputs. Now, what's commonly mistaken with these things is you, people think they're a dual LMB, they're not, they work completely different. This on a Sky Quad LMB. Now it's got four switching outputs here, um, which you can switch between vertically polarised signals, horizontally polarised signals, so horizontally polarised signals, which can be in down space, and vertically polarised signals. Uh, and it can also switch between high band and low band, so a higher group of frequencies and a lower group of frequencies. This doesn't do that. that none of that happens with this, uh, and I'll get, to, I'll get to why. So with these, you can't put a splitter on any outputs, because if you ever did that, you would, well you could, but you would have one box not working properly, one act, acting like a slave from the other box. Um, and at one time, when you're splitting the signal, because it switches, you only have access to quarter of the channels at one time. So and that's, that's why we don't split them, that's why we replace these and run new cables from them. With this, what this does is, these aren't switching, so this is a, one's a vertically polarised output, and was a horizontally polarised output. Now, for the um, the sharpest, the sharper among you, uh, or certainly people with experience with uh, aerial satellite systems, you'll immediately know that hang on, that means you can't connect the Sky Q boxes on a single feed, and you'll be correct. So, with, with a traditional Sky Plus HD box, although you you did need two cables for it to work properly, so you can watch and record, you know, two programs at the same time, you you could connect it with one box, with one cable. And put the box on single feed mode, and it'll it will happily work. It's just the only issue you ever get was when you're trying to record programs and stuff like that. With the SkyQ box, that's not an option. You need both cables. If you only connect one cable, you're just going to miss half the channels. Um, so to confuse things a little bit further, you can put SkyQ boxes on a single feed mode, but you can't do it with the SkyQ LMBs. You need special LMBs, which are still bloody expensive, about hundred quid, or you need something to convert it to DSCR modes, DSCR signals. Uh, which is what we do with blocks and flats and stuff like that, and the equipment is felt still very, very expensive. So um, there's a good chance you're going to just need to get enough cable in if you've only got one cable. Um, okay, so that's one. One's vertically polarised signals, one's horizontally polarised signals. Um, the other major change with these things, and probably where it's caused the most amount of problems, certainly within the sector, when people have changed from Sky to um, to Sky Q, uh, with maybe sort of playback systems or where they sort of combine cables into amps and stuff like that is that it's actually what we call a wideband LMB. So it works, on a, on a, certainly at the receiver end, after the LMB, it works on a, a, wide, a wider range of frequencies uh, and it actually overlaps into the terrestrial band or goes completely over the top, it goes right down to 300 megahertz. So you can, that, that means you can't combine TV and satellite signals anymore with one of these LMBs because they'll just knock each other out. Uh, whereas you could with one of them because the the terrestrial TV band ends at about 800 megahertz, a bit of give or take whether you're including 4G or not, and then it goes on to the, the satellite intermediate frequency band, which is about 900 megahertz to about 2150 megahertz. Um, you can combine two lots of signals next to each other, so you can put a terrestrial, which is happily beneath the, the satellite, and they won't interfere. So you can find them on the same cable, and then you can put something like this in one of your rooms, which has got the triplex wall plate, it's got outputs for satellite, TV, and FM radio. But it's only got one input onto it, so you can combine them in and then that will separate again. Can't do that with this. Um, and yeah, so the, because there's no switching, there's no switching high band and low band, that they need a way of getting all those services into us into um, onto the, the coaxial cable. And they, they've just done it by nicking the terrestrial, which uh, <laughs> I'm sure they knew what they were doing at the time, uh, just to maybe sort of get more people with terrestrial TV service on, on to pay Sky subscriptions. Um, it's worth noting that satellite end, in the satellites in space, nothing's changed up there. It's only here that's where it's changed. So what happens with, with um, satellite signals, they're beamed down to Earth on, on the KU band, satellite KU band, which is about, um, don't quote me on this, about 10 gigahertz to about 13 gigahertz, which is a very high frequency. And 
then it comes down, hits your dish, goes onto this, which then oscillates it down onto a frequency band which the, um, the coaxial cable can actually handle because if you're trying to just bounce it back and run it on its, you know, its native frequency to the receiver, you'll run out of signal within a couple of meters. So the coaxial cables can't handle it. So we need to get it beneath 3G, which is why they do that. And they switch it down to the intermediate frequency band. Um, where, where was I going with that one? Yeah, so, yeah, so that, that, that's, that's why that works. But with, with these type of quad LMDs, it, the, the amount they oscillate the signal would depend on whether you're switching high band or low band. So, it would, it would oscillate high bands more to get it down to that frequency band because there'll be higher frequencies to begin with than it would the low band. This just doesn't do that. It just oscillates at one consistent frequency down to the to the um, to onto the coaxial cable. So problems that this can cause when you change these. So obviously any sort of system where you've got aerial satellite signals combined, it's just going to mess it up. So you're going to have to either install separate cables or somehow convert the signals into DSCR mode and then set the SkyQ box onto SCR mode. Um, that's a problem that it can, it can cause. Um, other problems are uh, with wall plates and stuff like that. Because these are filtered, so it's designed to separate frequency bands out, um, can't use that anymore because it will tr even if you haven't got a terrestrial signal in it, it would send half the signals this way to filter it out. So you're gonna have to remove these and just put direct satellite wall plates. It worked fine for a wall plate, don't listen to a sky, whatever your sky installer says. It just won't work through diaplex and you know, triplex and quadplex wall plays, which is very common um, anymore. So that's that's the differences with the sky trying to be. And I hope you hope you like this video. I hope, I hope you found it informative. Um, if you've got any questions, please do put it in the section below. Uh, please do give this video a thumbs up if, if it's helped you, and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, and if you've got any questions, please do get in touch. Thank you. Bye.